What's up, my YouTube family? Welcome back to the Gaming Brigade. And today, my friends, I'm going to show you another striker build that I love to run with. I put out a few different variations over the last, you know, what, six months, eight months, whatever it is. And the main reason for that is because some people have certain gear, some people don't. So I like to show you different ways you can run with a build. So that way, regardless of where you are in the game or regardless of what gear you may or may not have, you still can put something together that gets the job done. Now, if you happen to enjoy this video, my friends, do me a favor really quick and hit that like button. We have a 300 like goal per video it really really does help the channel out you can feel free to subscribe or join as well and we do have giveaways here and our current one is for an xbox series s to enter all you need to do is subscribe here or follow on twitter and the winner will be announced december 31st of this year so we're going to jump right into the build at this point there are a few details i like to pass along to new and returning players but i'll save that for the end of the video so starting with the specialization i'm using firewall it gives me the ability to use the striker shield and there are so many reasons why i like using this shield with a build like this because it's a run and gun build you're close to npcs you get a weapon damage bonus both you and your allies do when the shield is equipped it has the firewall tactical link it also has fiery response and remember regardless of which specialization you choose you always want to have the proper weapons activated in your weapon skill tree that way you're getting a 15 percent weapon damage bonus regardless of which weapon you have equipped now for this variation of the build i'm using the acs 12 shotgun as my primary weapon one of my favorite guns in the game now the only thing i would change the thing is completely god rolled i do not need reload speed i really wish that was a different attribute but this is exactly what i have to use with at this point i'm going to continue to farm until i get the exact one i want now the rock and roll shotgun is a great option as well. It does give you 10 extra rounds in the clip. I like using this because I can change my talent. I've chosen close and personal. We're killing a target within seven meters, grants you 30% weapon damage for 10 seconds. And that's an absolute lifetime in this game. As far as my secondary goes, I'm running with Lady Death. It's really up to you what you put here. You can put an SMG and AR. It doesn't really matter. Use a secondary weapon that you're comfortable with. My sidearm, I don't really use with this build at all. Now moving on to the gear itself. You can see I'm running four strikers one brazos and one overlord starting with the mask is the first piece of striker and we're using all four so we get all of the gear set bonuses two pieces 15 percent weapon handling three pieces 15 percent rate of fire and four pieces strikers gamble where weapon hits increase total weapon damage by 0.65 percent stacking up to 100 times now keep in mind we are using the striker body armor for this build and because of that that's going to increase one of the aspects of strikers gamble so it gives us the talent press the advantage which increases increases the max stacks for Strikers Gamble from 100 to 200. Moving on to the holster, I'm running with Picaros because it has that 15% weapon damage bonus attribute. Now the thing is this, at the time of my recording this video, we can only re-roll the core attribute to either armor or skill tier, and hopefully soon they'll put in the, you know, that fix where we can roll it to weapon damage as well. Next we have Fox's Prayer Knee Pad that is all about that 8% damage to targets out of cover. Again, I'm re-rolling that core attribute to armor for a little more survivability, and one thing I feel to mention is on all of these pieces i'm trying to stack crit hit chance and crit hit damage everywhere i can after that we have the gloves which was the third piece of strikers moving on to the bag it's the fourth piece and it gives us a talent risk management which increases total weapon damage gain per stack from strikers gamble for 0.65 percent to one percent and if you're only going to use either the chest or the bag i strongly suggest using this and the main reason i bring that up is as i mentioned at the beginning of the video there are so many ways to run with a build like this you may decide you know what i don't need those extra stacks on the chest piece so i'm going to switch it to whatever your primary weapon you know whatever could benefit your primary weapon so if it's a shotgun it's badger tough if it's an smg you're going to go sokolov if it's an ar you're going to go fenris you can use a talent like obliterate you can use a talent such as intimidate it's really up to you my friends and one thing i've mentioned in multiple videos and i actually put out a standalone video about this is making sure you really take your time and not only make a build your own you know based around your gameplay but make sure you're changing your gameplay around around the build itself you cannot go into a run and gun build just stationary you got to keep moving so again put a few things together try them out and go from there my friends as far as the skills go i'm using the striker shield as i've already mentioned and i'm also using the assault drone because for me i just it's still one of my favorite you know skills to use it is a great distraction to npc and puts 
out damage as well. And as I start to wrap this thing up, one of the other recommendations I like to pass along to new and returning players is when you're trying out a build for the first time, go to a mission control point, territory control, whatever it may be, that you may be familiar with. That way you know the timing of the NPC. And when you know that, you can truly get a determination of time to kill, how much damage you can actually take with this build, what changes you need to make. Do you need more armor, more weapon damage, whatever it is, and you can decide at that point whether this build really fits your current game style or you know what I got to mix stuff up I cannot play like I normally do with this build I need to make sure when I'm going into this area I actually do this instead of that and as always my friends if you have any questions comments feedback whatsoever please let me know and I will get back to you as quick as I can most of you know by now that one of my favorite aspects about putting these build videos together is the family we have here at the channel I honestly think we have the best YouTube family there is out there I appreciate all of you so much and if you happen to have any tips or tricks you want to pass along please let me know as the main goal is to help out as many people as we can with all that being said my friends i'm going to start to wrap this up however i'd like to leave you with a bit of a personal message now yesterday i was going to actually post this build yesterday i had a pretty rough day someone broke into my car stole my playstation 5 it's a whole story i put it on twitter you can check it out there but anyway someone in the comments section of that tweet mentioned oh wow a build video how new how original and you know the one thing i want to say is this and this is this message is for you my family here at the channel as long as you want to see division 2 content and as long as you're asking for certain builds and certain things I'm going to continue to do it now a lot of you jumped to my defense really quickly it was amazing there were a few comments I actually had to delete because you were just slaying into this guy and trust me I do appreciate your support but all I do when someone hits me up like that is I just block them like it's it's easy I do not let any of those things get to me but I want to let you know my family how much I appreciate your having my back it sincerely means the world on that note I'm going to let the rest of the video play out however like I mentioned at the beginning of this thing if you happen to be new here feel free to hit that subscribe or join button if you enjoyed this do me a favor hit that like button as well but most importantly take care of yourselves be kind to each other and we will talk to you soon thanks again everyone Isaac pulled upstairs. You can lock that tunnel door from that control center. That should keep them from being able to transport those borders. That should keep them from getting more of those mortars. Back up. The team from the campus has taken position inside the memorial. 